tell me about both of your characters in the sitcom. I play Aretha Gary, who is one of the eldest children of the Gary family. Um, and her tale is sort of that she's just trying to survive in this house of people who she believes are all crazy and out of control. Um, so she sticks to the books and she keeps to herself, which is often difficult with this one around, who is constantly trying to drag some form of reaction out of her. I'm humping her. Um, oh, God, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, I sort of play the political one. Is there? Mm. She's quite angry. Oh god, yeah. There's well, a she lot angry of contained rage in there. Is she angry I think she's it? angry at the world for putting her in this house, um, oh. in this family that she's clearly she clearly adores and loves them, but wasn't meant to be born into. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's the thing with her is that I don't think she'd want to be anywhere else. She'd be really uncomfortable anywhere else. But she's angry that this is what she's had to become comfortable with. She's oh. great. Yeah. Oh, what about Jermaine? Um, well, I think that we're sort of two, I've already used this expression, but I'm going to do it again, we're two heads of the same beast mm-hmm. in a way, like, um, because we're completely living on top of each other, we bring out the extremes in each other, and I think that while you are so um, reclusive and, in, and involved in the world in a way, um, I'm much more of an extrovert, but a fantasist, if that makes sense, mm-hmm. so your way of escaping is through the reality and looking, like reading books and yeah. looking at the world, whereas Jermaine is much more, lives out her fantasies you know, around her by making Aretha play with her all the time and um, being obsessed with the boy down the road um, who she believes completely loves her back because why wouldn't he? Um, And I think as well with Jermaine, she's just so, like, she's so sexually charged and so, like, believes herself to be the most beautiful and the most funny and the most amazing woman and therefore, like, is. And it's so... um, uh, it's so exciting, can't think of a better word than that, <laughs> to play a 15-year-old who genuinely believes herself to be beautiful and therefore is. Um, and I think that with all of us, actually, like, we're all just great. Like, mm. it's a really... Women are just great. Women are just great, and we're all real... You need to celebrate each other more. Yeah, there's no sort of hidden insecurities, although you're really angry. Mm. It's you're not about... She wears it on a sleeve. Yeah. 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 So it's about not apologising. Oh it's God, yeah. unapologetic. That's exactly the right word, yeah. We're all unapologetic with our own identities, um, which is, a, in a way, why we then grate on each other, because it's like, here's my identity, here's my identity. <laughs> <laughs> so this is based somewhat on Caitlin Rand's upbringing. Um, what, what, how, for you personally, how do you feel playing the 15-year-old Caitlin, I guess? Is the <laughs> it felt like a very big um, feat to do, to play Caitlin um, at 15. But actually, it's been quite a long process now that it's become very normal. And the thing that's amazing about Caitlin is, less so for you, actually, um, it's more difficult, but the, the amazing thing about Caitlin is she kind of is everything that you feel and think underneath it all, and she just expresses it all. And so it's... As a, you relate to it a lot and you remember what it was like to be 15 um, and if you stop, if, well if I stop completely idealising her as this genius figurehead and just see her as Catelyn the normal human being, um, which has taken a while but I'm now sort of there-ish, um, it's, it's a joy really. Did, yeah. it put a lot, did it put sort of a lot of pressure on you to sort of really want to get things right? At first it definitely did, I particularly particularly for the pilot actually, and I think that's why doing the pilot was so great, is um, I was very conscious of the fact that people would already know about her life and know her and, and, and they'd be seeing her in me. But then for the series, I think we all stopped because it's written by Catelyn and Kaz and I think we, we, we saw it as they'd sort of done their bit and then we had, we had to put our own mark on it in a way. So we stopped looking at the reality and started looking at the drama of it, I think. Do you think it's it's sort of positive programming for women, by God, women yeah. for women? God, yeah, totally. I think it just absolutely celebrates women and everything that we can be and everything that we are mm. is completely accepted, no matter what that is. Um, and from a very young age as well, up to uh, Della, who is plays our mother, who's obviously the oldest woman in the show. She's a force. Who is <laughs> she's incredible. She, again, totally comfortable and confident in who she is. She loves because herself. Because she's a woman and she rocks it. And I just think 
all of the characters are such great role models. And I think the word celebrate mm. is exactly the right word, where it's celebrating the lives of women, but of like, she's a single mum and that's not an issue. Mm. Like, it's it's not about problemed lives, it's actually about great lives and it's normal people and it's and it's lives that you really relate to as well and it's, and it's events that you really relate to, it's just normalising them all and it's saying to women like, it's okay, this is, this is normal, you shouldn't be ashamed of getting your period or masturbating, like these are all normal happy things and look how great our life is, you know, they're poor but it's not an issue and she's a single mum but it's not an issue, it's a real, a real celebration of a family love really as well, mm. that's the thing, I think there's a lot of love in the show, without it being all like sloppy, you know, it's oh, not sloppy, it's, not sloppy. it's the opposite, it's a brutal really. kind of honest love, yeah, it's sensible knickers love, mm. 